This video explains the substitution method used in integration. An important aspect of this uh, substitution method is that there are no formulae to remember. So we start with the problem integral x cube plus 4x squared minus 3x minus 2 by x plus 2 dx. Degree of the numerator is 3 and degree of the denominator is 1. So when the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator, we divide the numerator by the denominator. So the coefficient of x, the first um, degree of the highest power is x cubed. Here the highest power is x. x cubed by x is x squared. So we write x squared here. Multiply x squared with x plus 2. So I get x cubed plus 2x squared. Subtract. So x cubed cancels and I get 4x squared minus 2x squared which is 2x squared. Bring down the minus 3x. Now 2x squared by x is 2x. Now multiply 2x with x plus 2. So I get 2x squared plus 4x. Subtract again. So I get uh, minus 3x minus 4x which is minus 7x. Bring down the minus 2. Minus 7x by x is minus 7. And uh, multiply minus 7 with x plus 2. So I get minus 7x minus 14. Subtract both. So the 7x gets cancelled and you get minus 2 plus 14 which is 12. Now numerator is quotient plus remainder by divisor. So the quotient here is x squared plus 2x minus 7 and the remainder is 12. So we write it as quotient plus Remainder is 12 by x plus 2. Quotient is x squared plus 2x minus 7 plus remainder is 12 and divisor x is x plus 2. Integrate each term. So you get integral of i which is what you are evaluating. It's integral of x squared plus 2x minus 7 plus 12 integral 1 by x plus 2 dx. Integral x squared is x cubed by 3. Take out the 2, integral x is x squared by 2, the 2 and 2 cancels, integral dx is x. So you get x cubed plus x squared minus 7x plus 12, integral 1 by x is log x. So integral 1 by x plus 2 is log mod x plus 2 plus c. We make use of this formula, integral 1 by x dx is log mod x. Coming to the next problem. Integral sine inverse 2x the whole cubed by root 1 minus 4x squared dx. We put sine inverse 2x as t. So take the derivative of sine inverse 2x with respect to x. So you get derivative of sine inverse x is 1 by root 1 minus x squared. So derivative of sine inverse 2x will be 1 by root 1 minus 4x squared into derivative of 2x which is 2. So you get 2 dx here, Integr you differentiate the right hand side with respect to t. So it is just dt. Derivative of t is 1 and we write dt here and the 2 comes down. So I repeat once more, we differentiate left hand side with respect to x and write dx here. Differentiate the right hand side with respect to t and write dt here. So your i, this is your i which you are integrating, becomes integral t cubed by dx by root 1 minus 4x squared is dt by 2. An integral t cubed is t raised to 4 by 4, so I get t raised to 4 by 8 plus c. Now whenever we substitute something, we have to substitute back. So the answer would be sine inverse 2x the whole raised to 4 by 8 plus c. This is substituting t as sine inverse 2x. The next problem, integral x squared e raised to x cubed sine e raised to x cubed dx. Derivative of e raised to x cubed would be e raised to x cubed into 3x squared. So we put e raised to x cubed as t, so we get e raised to x cubed into 3x squared dx as dt. Here we have e raised to x cubed into x squared dx. So e raised to x cubed into x squared dx becomes dt by 3. So this integral would become to this entire thing becomes dt by t. It becomes integral sin t dt by 3. Taking out the 1 by 3, integral of sin is minus cos t by 3. And as usual, we substitute for t equal to e raised to x cubed. So your answer would be minus cos e raised to x cubed by 3 plus c. The next problem, integral cos x minus sin x by root 1 plus sin 2x dx. Again we substitute but before that 1 can be written as sin squared x plus cos squared x. And sin 2x is 2 sin x cos x. 
So your denominator would become root of sin x plus cos x the whole square, which is just sin x plus cos x. So your integral reduces to cos x minus sin x by sin x plus cos x dx. Now if we were to put sin x plus cos x as t, derivative of sin x would be cos x minus sin x dx, that is dt. So your integral reduces to this becomes integral dt by t which is log mod t. So your answer is log mod sin x plus cos x plus c.